Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and look at these sweet headphones. I got these, and I need a place to put them. And everybody always says, Joel, why don't you print something useful with your 3D printers? And that's what I'm gonna do. So let's do it. Are you ready? Go. Do 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 do. Ah, welcome back. So at Maker Fair in the Bay Area, these headphones were given to me. These were a gift from Polymaker. That's so nice of them. And these headphones are actually poly smooth. Yeah, they're very smooth. And they work out well. I can put them on and, and what, what? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I do like these headphones and I use them when I do live streaming and, and I need a place to put them. So most people say, Joe, why don't you ever print anything useful with your 3D printers? Well, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to change that and I'm going to print these headphone holders that I found on Thingiverse. And here it is, look, on Thingiverse, the Monster Mouth Headphone Holder Clampable by Phil Behringer. Phil, you sound like a nice person, thank you so much. These headphones are great because it clamps. The idea being this 3D printed screw can drive up and hold it on to any thickness of desk and I think this is fantastic. So I downloaded the files and I'm gonna bring them into Cubic Creator. Now that the files are in Cubic Creator, I'm able to take a look and make sure they'll fit on the build plate of the Cubicon style. All right, those are gonna work out nicely. Let's start the print. Once you hit start print in Cubic Creator, that's when you can play with all of the settings and there's this fast and standard and slow. I'm just gonna print these standard ABS, so it's 240 on the nozzle, 115 on the bed, and if this was the Cubicon single, it could regulate the temperature of the chamber and set it to 50 degrees, but this is just the style, so it's an enclosed chamber, and the heat from the build plate and the nozzle will stay within the chamber and help to heat it up. Layer height's going to be 200 microns with a wall thickness of 0.8 millimeter. Infill is 10%. That seems kind of low for something that's structural or holding something else, but this is the standard setting and I'm still getting used to the Cubicon style, so 10% infill is just fine. The print speed and the travel speed is 100 millimeters per second. That seems rather quick. And you know, for ABS, this is interesting. Anytime I've tried to print ABS too fast, even on my Flash Forge Creator Pro, which is an enclosed space, I've gotten curling of the ends when I've been doing overhangs. So I'm really curious to see how this is gonna turn out. I'm gonna hit this button and I'm gonna save it out to the SD card, put it in the machine and then print it. And of course, I'm gonna film that time-lapse. So are you ready? Time-lapse. done let's get it out of there so here it is on the build plate and look at that holy cow it just came right off nothing nothing ever comes off the build plate that easy I am I am shocked shocked well the print is done and you saw how incredibly easy it was to remove that print from the cold build plate of the Cubicon style so far just just a just a quick brief thing here the cubicon style is an amazing machine and i've had nothing but good fortune with it i'm very excited that i'm getting to use this machine a review is coming but right now i have very high hopes at this rating extremely high stay tuned ah here we go so this is the monster mouth and this is the 3d printed bolt and it goes through these 3d printed threads right here let's see let's see if I can work this wow look at that no problems whatsoever oh that moves really well the this is amazing I love 
I love this part of 3D printing. This is a useful object and I know I get to finally print a useful object, but still, still uh, threads and having them work like this and be so smooth, that's just, that's just incredible. The idea being, of course, can this hold this? No problem whatsoever. Should we try it on the desk? I think we should try it on the desk. All right, here we are at the corner of my desk where this is gonna go on. I'm gonna put this right here and tighten the bolt. Bolt is now tight. Let's put the headphones on. There we go. There we go. It works. Brilliant. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I need. All right, let's take it off and finish up this video. Hot dang, that worked. Here, look at that. Ah. This worked really, really well. Okay, awesome. So the link to the Thingiverse model is down in the description and so far that Cubicon style is treating me really well. Please, if you have any questions about this print or anything else I've talked about in this video, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get to it. Give it a thumbs up if this was useful. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. I would totally appreciate that. Leave a dollar or more. If you have Patreon every month, if you'd like to financially throw me some love, however, it's never required and I will always do this for free. Just know that every once in a while I may need a social high five. And speaking of high fives, as always, high five. Joel telling and he's printing 3D like some Pokemon, a gun from Destiny. When you call him a nerd, he'll stand up proudly, cause he's packing some heat from his YouTube family. He can review printers till he falls to the floor, then he'll give them away like Oprah in 04. There's the Wombot, Lulzbot, G Max XT, then a break for Red Bull and Lobo's Taco Crispy. Printed koozie in his hand for his drink. He sets up his GoPro and prints out a bend a bang. So send him a dollar to put in his head or a self addressed envelope. Look for a sticker instead There's a nerd box on boxings and cues and names And he'll open your mail every single Friday And of course you can't forget that pancake bot And filament sonically is a jolt sweet little sign And they printed this printer at Holodex Studio Like Lando Calrissian and Freeze Dried Han Solo So show your support on Patreon or subscribe And as always, high five